It is a place where the essence of nature mixes with the advancement of humanity. It is a place where every trend is set to bend. It is a place to be revered. It is a place where dreams turn into reality. It is a place where chime of the church bells makes your heart run. It is a place where every nook and corner is bestowed with beauty. My name is Liz. My name is Bernard Aubry. I'm the mayor of Lisieux. And uh, today I'm very happy to wish you a very nice stay in Lisieux and in the Pago. If Lisieux is known all over the world, it's thanks to Saint Therese. And we are here in the Basilica Saint Therese. It is the place which inspired Monet to create artistic wonders. This place is none other than the land of beauty and churches. She has been uh, visited here by uh, the Pope, uh, John Paul II, uh, in the, uh, I think in, at the end uh, of the, the past century. And, uh, everyone come here from all over the world. We know that here more than one million people come here. here. France is a unitary sovereign state comprising territory in Western Europe and several overseas regions and territories. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations of the world, known for its rich culture and religious pilgrimages. France attracts many religious pilgrims from around the world each year for prayer, Bible study, sharing and communal work with extremely beautiful cathedrals shining like temples of glory. Some communes like Lycia, Mont Saint-Michel and Chartres are the hotspot for Christian pilgrims. The city of Lycia is one of the most significant holy places in France as well as in Europe. It is located in the Bas, Normandy region in the northwestern France. The city hosts more than one million visitors a year. Throughout the year, masses are held and many activities are planned by the sanctuary of Lycia. Years ago, the city became a victim of the World War II, which ended up destroying 60% of its monuments. Yet, the city never lost its picturesque beauty. The most delightful sites of Lycia comprises of cathedrals, Basilica of saint Therese de Lycia, the St. Jacques Church and St. Pierre Cathedral. The cathedral, the Basilica of saint Therese de Lycia, was constructed in honor of saint Therese de Lycia, who was beatified in 1923 and canonized in 1925. It was built for pilgrims who came in increasing numbers to venerate the new saint in the town where she had lived and died. The whole basilica is a huge set image. The crypt is entirely covered with marble and mosaics which gives the impression of the spiritual life of Saint Teresa. The magnificent decor is the work of Jean Coda, master of glass and mosaic from a beautiful dynasty of artists. St. Pierre Cathedral is a rare monument which survived the 1945 bombardment. Even though the cathedral has been around since the 6th century, the church we see today must have been constructed between 1160 and 1230. Between 1160 and 1230, the architect designed quadripartite rib walls and flying buttresses.
making it one of the Normandy's first Gothic buildings. The nave is fairly austere and is inspired by the Gothic style of Ile de France, whereas the most recent parts of the building were constructed in the 18th century in Norman style. This Gothic building is eerily beautiful in a way no words can express. Despite the damage caused by the war, this monument stands proudly with battle scars, adding to its allure. Another attraction of Leisure is the St. Jacques Church, which began in 1448. Completed in 1540, it is a Gothic building which never opens as a place for worship. Today, the church has become a cultural center and is opened only when it hosts an exhibition. By the Gothic appearance, this institution attracts tourists very much. The pilgrimage does not end here at Leisure, but moves on to one of the wonders of the West, Mont Saint-Michel. Saint Michel is an island commune in Normandy, in France. The Mont Saint Michel is one of the most visited places in France for several reasons. One of the reasons is because it used to be one of the most important places of pilgrimage in the world. Mont Saint Michel. It was a community of monks, men, who arrived here, and they came precisely in 966 which is a very important date for the place. The masterpiece of the monastery is really the cloister. It's the only cloister in the world which is located at 282 feet high. Mont Saint Michel is an island commune in Normandy, France. It is located approximately one kilometer off the country's northwestern coast at the mouth of Coinon River, near Avanche. The island has held strategic fortifications since the ancient times. One of France's most recognizable, one of France's most recognizable landmarks, Mont Saint Michel, and its bay are part of the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites, and more than three million people visit it each year. The island might be small in area, with very less inhabitants, but. Its picturesque beauty never lets it remain empty as tourists visit in heavy numbers for religious purposes. At the entrance of this medieval city, the former Corps de Carte des Bourgeois, facing the canon's houses, the tourist office, passing the door of the boulevard, then the king provided with a drawbridge, experienced the high street with its museums, shops and houses of the 15th and 16th centuries. The parish church, which is a small building, was built in the 15th century. It is dedicated to St. Peter, patron of fishermen. The main attraction here for pilgrims is the abbey. The Mont was one of the first places of worship of the Archangel Michael. The abbey offers a complete panorama of medieval architecture of the 11th and 16th century. The establishment is truly devoted to peace and harmony of the soul and it shines like a temple of glory. Behind me, you can see there a statue of the Archangel Michael that date from the 15th century that come from Germany. And you can see in his right hand, he's, uh, he's holding a spear with which he's laying low a dragon and in his left hand holding a pair of scales with which he is uh, weighing the souls of the people on the La Judgment Day. You may see that at the bottom of the statue it's written in Latin Queus Deus, which means who is like God, with a question mark. Surrounded by the hypnotic sound of the waves, admire the incomparable beauty of the bay down the ramparts. Finally, you can admire the incomparable beauty of the bay down the ramparts or by choosing the walkway on your left border by small gardens which you also have access through the porch of Fenils. Also have the access through the porch of Fenile. 
to be the finest Gothic cathedral in France. Its historical and cultural importance is recognized by its inclusion of the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. Schachte has been a site of Christian pilgrimage since the Middle Ages. Since the 1980s, the association Notre Dame de Christianity has organized the annual 100 kilometers pilgrimage on foot from the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris to the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Chartres. The choir of the church was destroyed after the French Revolution and after the Second World War, the steeples disappeared. This church was the main church of the old part of the town for the craftsmen. Here we are in the craftsmen area for the tanners, fullers, slaughters and washwomen. Also the water carriers carried the water from the fountains close to the church to the upper town. 15,000 pilgrims, mostly young families from all over France, participate every year. The most, visit, most visited minister of Chartres is the Abbey Church of Saint-Pierre. Dating chiefly from the 13th century, it contains divine-looking stained glasses. Many people are coming every day to pray in front of the statue of Mary, because Mary is really, the, uh, the, for us, the mother of God, of Jesus. We have uh, rich people, poor people, like in every places over the world for pilgrimages. Also, please come in our cathedral, even if you are not Catholics. Patients of the Apostles, created around 1547 by Leonardo Limoja. The blue hue of the stained glasses with a tinge of red, green and yellow illuminates the holy plates, giving a divine setting to the cathedral. The glass windows depict biblical stories along with portraits of saints. It has a Romanesque influence on it. It is a masterpiece of architecture. The cathedral resides amidst the fusion of nature and mankind with knolls linking the upper and lower towns. Walking by the river Erg suddenly stops you to stand and stare at the panoramic view of the chalets with wooden framework. The aroma of the traditional delicacies coming from the street cafes teases your taste buds. Teases your taste buds. The charming bells swing where the wind chases you to the door which opens to the Museum of Perfume where you can soak in the heavenly fragrance. The fragrance blended with the beauty of nature is dedicated to divas. One cannot fail to miss the lights of Shakhtar. It is one of the major events in the city. The event includes a night tour of 26 illuminated monuments put in music. It is a unique evening with a magical atmosphere. The main attractions are the cathedral, the banks of River Ur, the media library, the fine art museum and the historical districts and so on. Thousands of people take on the streets of the city to marvel at such mesmerizing sights. This event is held every year from April to October where the residents of and tourists gather to discover the city's heritage. These cities are just a fraction of beatific vistas expressed by the tranquil charm of cathedrals. The serenity and peace received at such sacred spots of France has the power to cure any disease, heal any heart, calm the turmoil in the human mind and provide eternal satisfaction to the mind and soul. France truly is a paradise on earth. Before the towering Eiffel could reach heaven, God himself bestowed his blessing on this land. France truly is a paradise on earth. Before the towering Eiffel could reach heaven, God himself bestowed his blessing on this land.
दुनिया एन अनसीन पैराडाइज दुनिया एन अनसीन पैराडाइज यानी कि दुनिया एक काम देख खास वर्ग बहुत देर बाद थोड़े दिल में एक ट्रैक लेके हाजिर हुए हैं प्लीज अपना प्यार बख्शना तो आधे प्यार दी भी इधर दम है तो आधा अपना जगतार ये दुनिया ये दुनिया ये दुनिया ये दुनिया ये दुनिया राउंड के मेला दुनिया an unseen paradise hey dunia dunia is an ensemble of ups and downs tumult and din hey dunia what shall always exist is only love come share the joy of love darkness is finally over and good times are not far away let's all rise to the chromatic enigma of the shining suraj 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 tere piche jatte hun mad ho gaya tere to bina e dil sad ho gaya pe gaya hai na main ko kuwaada kudiye kanu kehni hai I'm 
ਨੇ ਬਣਾਏ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਦੇ ਹੱਥੋਂ ਤੁਤਾ ਚ ਨਹਾਏ ਤੁਤਾ ਚ ਨਹਾਏ ਤੁਤਾ ਚ ਬੋਲੀ ਪਾਲਾਂਗੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬੋਲੀ ਪਾਲਾਂਗੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬੋਲੀ ਪਾਲਾਂਗੇ ਬਾਰੀ ਬਾਰੀ ਸੀ ਖੱਟਣ ਕੇ ਆਸੀ ਬਾਰੀ ਬਾਰੀ ਸੀ ਖੱਟਣ ਕੇ ਆਸੀ ਹੱਟ ਕੇ ਲਿਆ ਦੇ ਪਾਵੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਿੰਡ ਦੇ ਆ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਕੇ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਾ ਆਵੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਿੰਡ ਦੇ ਆ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਕੇ ਨੀਂਦ ਨਾ ਆਵੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਿੰਡ ਦੇ ਆ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ Ha 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 ha.